Hello everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Octio Studio. Today I'm sharing with you my Pick a Stick Challenge art journal page for October 2019. Pick a Stick Challenge is a Facebook group that I do with my friend Peg and we offer three challenges each month, a art journal page challenge, an uh, altered tag challenge, and an artist trading card challenge. These are based on randomly drawn one word prompts that we draw using sticks each month and then the three challenges go up at the beginning of the month and you have until the end to post them in the group. If you'd like to join, the link will be below the video and you can ask to join and remember to answer the questions that are given or else we won't accept you. So for my page today, I actually did this on the Art Joy Sharing live stream channel on Thursday. Today, when it's being posted, is Friday. So this is the speed version of the Art Joy of Sharing live stream show, which happens every Thursday at um, 10.30 Central. So that would be 7.30 Pacific, or 8.30 Pacific. Yeah, 8.30 Pacific. Um, every Thursday, you can come over there to that channel and watch us live. We do all different types of things, and this time we did art, our uh, Pick a Stick Challenge. I did my page Peg did her tag and ATC for the month. So with the Pick a Stick Challenge, there are six prompts and you do them in order. That's the only rule. Six prompts, do them in order. You can add something before, you can add something after, you can add something in between the prompts. That's fine. If you don't like one of the prompts, there are a couple of wild cards that you can replace the prompts with, or you can use the wild cards in addition to the rest of the challenge. And there are two colors. So the colors this month were orange and cocoa. I've, I find it amazing that each month, I mean, we, ran, we randomly draw these people. We have a bucket of sticks and we randomly draw them. And they, they keep coming up with seasonal colors every month. This month, orange is very appropriate for October because of pumpkins and falling leaves. And of course, cocoa, it's getting colder. You could eat, drink, drink cocoa or cocoa is also a brown color. So yeah, I can't believe it just keeps happening. We'll see what will happen next month. I don't know. Maybe it'll be blue and silver. I don't know. It could happen. So anyway, I decided to start out with the, using the colors with different gel prints and um, things like that as a background for my page. So I just glued randomly pieces of uh, prints, pieces of gel printed tea bag, pieces of dictionary page, just to make an interesting and colorful background that gives me a start. The second prompt was plastic. I had all these ideas using plastic. I thought I could make something with shrink plastic or maybe I could use some Duralar and stencil on it with alcohol ink and add it to my collage. But it just turned out, you know what, I didn't have time for any of that. I couldn't even find the Duralar. I don't know where it is. So I just decided to use a plastic stencil. Stencils are made out of plastic. The thing about these one word prompts is you can interpret them any way you want. Whatever type of plastic you want. Maybe you want to use some uh, uh, plastic wrap and wad it up and make a texture on your background. You can use it any way you want. That's the amazing thing about these pick and stick challenges. You interpret them the way you want. So there was my plastic stencil to just add some additional orange color to my background. So then the third prompt, uh, the third prompt was card. And you could use cardstock. You could use a card uh, for some other thing, you know, a texture card or something. I decided to just use a regular um, plastic card and scrape some paint onto my background with the card. So that's what I did. Um, my phone kept overheating. I was taping this with my phone and it kept overheating. And so I had to keep restarting it. It was a real pain. <laughs> So the, the next prompt was spiral. And I had this thing. It's a curvy cutter from, from EK Success. And it has this little thing with a blade that snaps onto a guide. And you can just cut a spiral with it. So I just grabbed some painty paper that had some browns on it because I thought, well, I needed more brown. And I got the spiral, but I didn't like the spiral not having any in between. And so I just took my scissors and cut everything in half and um, 
then you get some of the background showing through. So I did it twice. So I ended up with four pieces because I cut them. I cut the strip in half. I hope you can understand what I mean when I say that. I took some scissors and just literally cut that whole spiral strip in half. And then I ended up with two spirals because I was cutting out a section of it. So then when I cut it with the, the guide twice, I ended up with four. I know, it's all so confusing. <laughs> so I collaged those down over my very bright and colorful and full of pattern background to make it even more full of pattern because that's the way I like it. That's mixed media. Lots of layers, lots of interesting texture and color and pattern. So still sticking with the orange and brown, but I've also, of course, got some cream color, some yellow, you know, some other colors in there. I knew I was going to have something at the bottom, so I didn't worry about putting another spiral on there to to cover that space. I just, I wanted them where, in places where they might show from behind. So the next step, step four was humorous. And I really think that the memes and the videos and things from the grumpy cat are funny. I think that cat is hilarious. Just even looking at it, it's so funny. So I decided to make a quick sketch, which I had done beforehand. Um, I couldn't print a picture for inspiration because my printer's broken. I have got nothing but problems with technology around here. Uh, I got to get a new printer. Uh, it was on his last legs anyway. But I just did a really quick sketch using a picture of the grumpy cat on my screen. If you don't know what the grumpy cat is, just, just search, search it in Google. And you'll come up with this Persian that has just this unpleasant grumpy look on its face it's just the way it looks it's not like it's doing that on purpose it's just that's just how it looks but it's funny and then people add all different types of of words and make memes out of it it's just it's just funny so i thought that was humorous so i decided to add grumpy cat so instead of redrawing it onto the page i just glued the deli paper right down to my page i was planning on collaging it but i decided to paint it instead with acrylic paint so i glued it down and painted over the top of the deli paper using some acrylic paint. Uh, I'm using raw sienna and raw umber, and those are from the Deco Arts Traditions paints. And then I've got some titanium white and some unbleached titanium, or maybe it's Titan Buff from uh, the Liquitex Basics line. And I just put them on some scratch paper and I'm using an angled brush to just try to give a very quick acrylic painting. This isn't, this isn't, you know, a tutorial on acrylic painting. It's just, it's a quickie. But I just wanted to give some color to that cat using some acrylic paint and make it look kind of like what the cat looks like. Um, I think I made it a little too dark because the cat's a Persian. So it has dark around its eyes and its ears. And then it has kind of grayish fur but so my cat's maybe not right quite the right color but he's got the look on his face anyway so I think you can look at my my painting and say okay that's the grumpy cat I decided to add a tail to balance the look over here on the other side all the memes that you see you don't really see the cat's uh, body I don't really know what his body looks like it's always just his face but um, I assume that it has a, a white tipped tail like a Persian. I, I don't know. Never don't think I've ever seen its tail. I don't know if it's even, it might be a little bit fatter than this. Maybe more fluffy, maybe more fluffy around the face. But you know, it was a quickie. This is just an art journal page. It's just a quickie. So I decided to paint it with these colors. I added some pink, um, some blush colored paint and then I ended up mixing it with some brighter pink. You see the cat has a pink nose and kind of pink around its mouth and face. Pink inside its ears. And then uh, just, you know, pink here and there. A little bit. Then I needed to let this part dry. And the next step after this is collage. Well, dang it, I've already done a bunch of collage, right? I've already been collaging the heck out of this page, 
but I needed to add some more collage. So I had these letters that I had cut out from some pa some paper that just had, it's actually deli paper that just had scraped black paint on it, leftovers. And I cut them out last week. I don't remember what for, but I thought they were too big. But I decided they would look funny on this page because it's a humorous page if I gave the cat a sparkly crown because this cat looks so grumpy. It would be mad if you put a sparkly crown on it. You'd be like, are you serious? And so I put the letters that I'd cut out last week, are you serious, on the top of the page. I don't remember what these were for, but I know that I cut them out and then I thought I'll put them on something else. So anyway, maybe it wasn't last week. I don't remember. But anyway, it says, are you serious? Because this cat would be totally annoyed if you put a sparkly crown on its head. And then I decided um, the next step being edit that I would just use that prompt for uh, finishing, adding, taking away. Um, my original idea for editing was to kind of paint out the background, but then since I didn't do as much collage on the cat, I decided I would leave the background as it is. So then my editing is just adding in pen and um, touching up, fixing up, uh, adding some more interesting things. So I'm fixing up the eyes because the eyes were kind of dry now. I needed to wait for the white paint to dry. I glued on the sparkle cardstock crown and um, I glued that with regular tacky glue because it was cardstock. I didn't think that the matte medium would be a very good idea because also then I would go over the top of it to seal it down and it would get matte medium on the sparkle which would make it matte down and it wouldn't be as sparkly. So I glued it with tacky glue. I also had this jar of um, Halloween themed buttons, sequins, seed beads. Uh, they're orange and black and since it's October I thought you know add some more orange to it. So I decided to make a, a collar and add a little bit more to the crown using this uh, set of ephemera. They're not really ephemera, are they? No, just they're just buttons, buttons and sequins and things. I think they're from Buttons Galore and More Company. Buttons Galore and More, I think, yeah. I'll try to find them for you. There was a heart-shaped button, and I thought a heart-shaped charm on the collar would be funny. So, yeah. This cat looks pretty mad. <laughs> How dare you put a, a crown on me? Are you serious? <laughs> so then I'm just finishing up the page by adding some more Posca pin, highlights, marks, uh, random, very random uh, scratchy highlights and marks that I like to do when I do something like this. Some highlights on the letters, things like that. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, art journal page video. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already and please turn on your notification bell so that you know when a new fresh video is coming out. Also, you can share this on Pinterest, uh, share it on Facebook, something like that. If you think it's funny, you think someone would, else would like to see it, that helps people find my channel. So I'm always appreciative when you do that. And um, if this is your last video, like I've said before, if this is your last video and you're planning to go away from YouTube, please click over to someone who has 2 million subscribers and a bazillion views before you leave. You don't have to watch their video, just go click over to theirs before you leave so I don't get punished for sending you away from YouTube. So I'm just adding my finishing touches. I put uh, PASC1019, which is the code for Pick Stick Challenge October, down at the bottom, and then I'm done. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.